Hello YouTubers, this is a tutorial on how to convert a Kindle ebook from Amazon from an AZW or an AZW3 file format to a PDF, an EPUB, or a MOBI file format. Now if you're unclear as to what those file types are, I've included a link below uh, to guiding text website that hopefully it's going to provide a little bit more clarification for you. Now, before I get going, I have to provide a disclaimer, and here it is. This is a video that explains how to remove digital rights management, or DRM, from an ebook. What's DRM, you ask? Well, it's a, it's a systematic approach to copyright protection for digital media. The purpose of DR, DRM is to prevent unauthorized redistribution of digital media and it restricts the ways consumers can copy the content that they've purchased. Now it's basically a layer that Amazon puts in their ebooks to prevent you from giving their ebooks away. A word of warning about doing this. Now in the USA there is a law known as the Digital Millennium Copyright Act or the DMCA. This law makes it illegal. Uh, to circumvent a copy protection system and DRM is such a copy protection system. It also makes it illegal to produce or distribute tools to aid in circumvention. Now, not everyone lives in the USA, but many of the countries also, many other countries also have similar laws. So check your local laws and realize that even though you may only want to read an EPUB ebook that you've legally purchased on your Kindle, it may not be quite so legal to do so. Now that I'm done with the disclaimer, you're going to need two pieces of software essentially to accomplish the task at hand. Um, the first of which is a program called Calibre. Calibre is a powerful, easy to use ebook manager. It's used as a comprehensive ebook viewer. You can use it to download books, news, magazines, etc. from the web. It also allows you to share and back up your library pretty easily. It also allows you to edit the books in your collection, metadata, tags, etc., and all that good stuff that goes along with it. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to provide the link for you um, below. And <clears throat> oh, let me just pull it up here real quick. When I when you click on the link that's provided, um, it'll bring you to this website. And of course, you just choose the operating system that you're using, and you download the software. You follow the installation wizard. Um, instructions that go along with it. The next piece of software that you are going to need is the Kindle for PC software from Amazon. Um, it's important to note that you're going to need version 1.17. Now if you don't know what version you have, you can go to the help once you've opened up your Kindle. Go to help, go to about Kindle, and it'll tell you the version right here. 1.17 is what you need currently as of the date of this video um, which is the 19th of April 2017. Um, the latest version is 1. Point, I believe it's 1.20 but you must have 1.17. I will have another video which I'll link uh, I'll post a link below and that'll kinda go into a little bit more explanation as to why that why that's the case. Now, once you've downloaded the um, the actual software for uh, Kindle, you are going to want to log in, and you can then download your books. Now, I've already downloaded four of them here, and you see with the check marks they've actually um, been downloaded or marked as downloaded. Now, uh, as an example, you're going to right-click once you get your once you've logged in. It'll it'll populate your your books that are in the cloud. You'll right-click on it and hit download and you can see the book downloading now once it's downloaded you're gonna want to go to your Explorer and go to your documents now once you go to your documents you're gonna see this folder here my Kindle content if you do not have the Kindle for PC software and you only have the Kindle Reader app, this folder will not be here. So you must have that, that actual software, not the Reader application. So once you go into the Kindle, uh, My Kindle Content, you'll see these books here. The AZW file extensions are the ones that are the books. Now when Kindle puts them into your, onto your computer, they're kind of just distributed uh, with random numbers they don't really exactly tell you um, what the books are so if you if you I believe if you click on that 
you can then see up here the name of the book. So if you want to click on the file and find out exactly which one it is that you want to uh, that, that you're downloading or that you're going to transfer, um, that's what you want to do. Okay, so now that you've located that file, the other thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your Calibre, and let me pull that back up real quick. Okay, this is the one. All right, so I just wanted to confirm the book that I want to transfer over. Basically, you can drag and drop it. Now once you have it in, you once you have it in there, you're going to need to convert this to whatever file format you want. So you'll right click on it and go to convert books. Oops, convert books and convert individually. You can also go to here, uh, this icon up here. Um, but this is uh, just a pretty easy and efficient way to do it since you're already there. And you'll convert it individually. You'll see that the book comes up here. When you go up to the right upper corner, you'll see the app, the output format. I personally want to transfer this into a PDF format, so I'll select PDF. And then when you go down to the bottom, you'll hit OK. And you'll notice right now that there's one job in the queue. And when that job is done, I'll show you the location of where these files are placed. The location of the folders for the Calibre um, can be found in your Documents folder. So if you go click back over to Documents, you'll see up here they have the Calibre Library folder um, in your Documents. Double click on that and you'll see they have um, they have folders arranged by the author. Now um, if you have the same author, you have a, a multiple books by the same author, you'll see they have uh, multiple books under the same author. So the book that we just basically converted was this one by Joe Crump here. Um, and once you click in there, you'll see that we have the AZ, AZW3, which is the Amazon f uh, original file. We converted it to a PDF. Now just, um, I'll show you some of the books that I uh, converted earlier. Um, and these I converted to the three different formats, really. I, com I had the original Amazon, I converted uh, one into an EPUB, one into a Mobi, and one into a PDF. And these will just allow you to read it on different um, applications or different e-readers. So um, with that being said, that, that's where the location of those files are. If you wanted to repeat the process, again, go back up to your documents, go back into your Kindle content, drag and drop another book down, right click on it, go to convert books, convert individually, and then you would choose up here in the upper right what file format output you were looking for. Uh, most common is EPUB, Mobi, or PDF. And then go down to the bottom, click OK, and let the process start again. And again, you would be able to find them back in your documents under Calibre Library and in the appropriate authors folder. And that pretty much concludes um, how we transfer a an AZW or an AZW3 file into a PDF or a Mobi or an EPUB uh, file. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, check out the links below for all of the um, the additional information and locations where to get some of the downloads that we spoke of earlier in the video.